He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. So let's check out a few questions regarding atomic orbitals and quantum numbers. The first question says, any p orbital can accommodate up to, and we have four options here. Number two says, the principal quantum number is related to, and we have four options again. Then number three, the correct set of quantum numbers for the valence electron of rubidium, z equals 37, is, and we have four options here. And then number four, which of the following sets of quantum numbers represents an impossible arrangement? So we've got four options here, and we need to know which one is not feasible. So uh, if you're not sure what these questions mean, I have a great tutorial on quantum numbers, and you should check that out first. And when you're ready, give this a try. So looking at this first question, any p orbital can accommodate up to, and we want to find a number of electrons, and so it doesn't really matter that we're looking at a p orbital because any orbital, be it atomic orbital or even a molecular orbital, we're always looking at any orbital being able to accommodate two electrons, and those two electrons must have opposite spin uh, by virtue of the Pauli exclusion principle. We know that no, uh, no two electrons within an atom can have the same set of quantum numbers. So if they are in the same orbital, they have the same n, they have the same l, they have the same m sub l, so they must have the opposite value for m sub s so that they don't have the same same set of quantum numbers. So that one is going to be D. Uh, the next question, the principal quantum number, remember that the principal quantum number is N. That's the very first one that we look at. And that is related to, that will be A, the size of the orbital. So if you think of, let's say, the S atomic orbitals, you have a 1s orbital, and then you have a 2s orbital, and a 3s orbital, and each time that spherical orbital is getting larger and larger, we're getting farther and farther away from the nucleus. And so that means the principal quantum number is related to the size of the orbital. For number three, we are looking at rubidium, which has an atomic number of 37, and if we look at the periodic table, rubidium is in period 5, and it is in group 1. It is in that very first column, and so since it's in the fifth period, we know that n is going to be equal to 5 because we're looking at the s block, and so starting at the top, we're going to the fifth row down, that is going to be n equals 5. And because we are looking at the s block, we are looking at an s electron, the lone s electron is the lone valence electron for rubidium, then we know that l has to be equal to 0, because l equals 0 for any s orbital. And because l is equal to 0, then m sub l must also be 0, because it can only be between negative l and l, and since l is 0, we only have one option, because there is only one s orbital per energy level. And then the spin is going to be plus one half. So that will be A. We notice that B, we can't have an L value of one because that would indicate a P orbital. And then for C, that is wrong for the same reason. And then for D, that's wrong because N is equal to six there. And that would be the wrong period. So A is the correct answer there. And then for this last question, we want to know which of the following sets of quantum numbers represents an impossible arrangement. So let's go one at a time here. We see 3, 2, negative 2, and plus 1 half. That looks fine because we are describing a 3D orbital. So we have n equals 3 and l equals 2, which corresponds to the 3D orbitals. And then negative 2 is a valid value for m sub l, and then we have plus 1 half. Now looking at the next one, option B, we have 4, 0, 0, 1 half, and that looks fine. We're talking about a 4s orbital, or the, the 4s orbital. Then we're looking at 3, 2, negative 3, 1 half. Now what do we notice here? We're clearly talking about, again, a 3d orbital, but the m sub l value, negative 3, that's not going to be valid, because the only valid values for m sub l are going to be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, because we only have five 
d orbitals per energy level. So that is an invalid m sub l value. Negative 3 does not work. And so that is going to be our answer. If we were to look at d, that one does look fine. That's a 5f orbital. And so once again, c is our answer. So that's what we're looking at for these four problems. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.